<laughs> Yo! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the E40 section. I got Johnny over here helping me out as usual. Uh, my man, the man of the hour. Uh, basically, we got some more mods for the E46. So uh, let me know what you guys want to do in this video. So you guys want to see an E46 short shifter install? An E46 Halo install, you know, a little retrofit. How do you guys want to see an M3 conversion? You guys let me know down in the comments, alright? Let me, let me look at the comments real quick. Short shifter. Short shifter has the most amount of lights. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that in this video. <laughs> Me and Jonathan have never actually installed a short shifter. It's something we really want to know how to do, so I guess it's something we're gonna learn how to do in this video. All I know is that it does require us getting the bottom of the car. So, we never really work on the bottom of the car. The only thing I've done at the bottom of any of my cars was uh, pretty much the front end of the M3, which was pretty much enough to get underneath that much. And uh, the one I had to get really in depth was the transmission on the 330. I had to replace the transmission pan, the fluids, all that stuff. But I didn't have to drop the exhaust or anything like that, which we've never done before. So. Uh, we're gonna learn a little. We're gonna learn a little. We're gonna live a little. So let's get into it. So you guys can see we have a beautiful M shift knob, five speed. Um, this is an actual E46 M3 shift bob, shift boot. And then we actually picked up a brand new from BMW emblem. So yeah, we got first, I'm going from the clutch. So this is neutral. It moves a lot. Like it moves a lot. Put it in first, looks like it's a neutral. Put it in second, neutral. Like it looks like it's in neutral. Oh my God, look at this one. That's really bad. That is so bad. Like this thing, I, I want it to be like notchy, you know what I mean? And it's a little bit, uh, it's not as short. I mean, this thing is supposed to make it shorter. So we're gonna see how this looks. And hopefully this thing, see like the actual shift knob moves. I'm hoping that will fade away with this. I think that'd be pretty dope if that works. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into it with the top end and start working on the bottom of the car later. Oh Guys, so we saw this stuff plugged in right here. Nuh uh. <laughs> Wanna see if the traction control turns off? Oh my god. <laughs> it, it worked, right? It worked! We're going drifting! Easy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I like how you can see the ground from here. <laughs> you can legit see the ground from here. Alright, Mike, what are you doing now? Alright, Mike, we watched a video, guys. He's British? He's British. British. Right? It I like love their accent. Oh my god. It sounded like Australian. Alright, Mike. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for, Mike. <laughs> He's putting like the engine shit. Uh, we should just lower down the jack stands, honestly. You sure? Yeah, it's safer. Alright, guys, so I just pulled out the clip that's on there. I'm gonna show you guys a little picture of how it's supposed to look when it's on there. But Jonathan's gonna go ahead and show you what I pulled out of it. Once you pull out this clip, there's something that goes into the, the short shifter. So, Jonathan, can you show it to me real quick? So, yeah, this, I have to hold the light too, somehow, hold up. All right, so uh, this little thing right here, we literally just like pushed it out. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, that little thing. You see the thing moving? Yeah. yeah oh my God. Can you pull the, what do we do now? Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, keep doing that, keep doing that for a second. <laughs> So yeah, basically as you can see, it's like a limp something. Let's just go ahead and pull it out now. It's kind of like the fuel pump. Yeah, for real. You're just twisting it off. Oh, and it comes out real easy. Cool, cool. Look how easy this thing, dude, that is so shot. Dude, it felt like shit. All right guys, so I watched a video when you buy some cheap ass uh, short shifters, you have to see on both sides to see in the inner. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how it looks in a little bit. Almost the same thickness. Um, yeah, it's not really like perfect, but it should work. All right, guys, we need to get some grease, but far before we that, um, monster, nah, water. Me and Jonathan are just gonna get some water real quick and head out. All right, guys, taking the reliable car. It's here at AutoZone, just getting some grease. Because now I'm gonna install the new Short shifter, slap it in here. All right, can you do it? I think so. And let me get my other shift knob so I can hammer this thing down. Uh, we have to basically do some sanding to the actual. So, yes, yeah, so we sanded it here, we sanded it here, right? Now we have to grind around here. We'll show you guys what we're grinding exactly. Basically, if you guys look in here, um, if you guys look in this hole, 
basically there's a little I don't know how to explain it like it's there's a lip yeah and it goes inwards like it, yeah it's really hard to show but basically the the hole starts and then goes inwards like that from the outside so if you guys look at this this thing is just flat all the way around it's not really like caved in or anything like that so we're gonna go ahead and just grind it off all the way around and see if it just snaps into place and hopefully it works see I grind it hella I hope this is it and uh, I don't recommend this to anybody I'm being dead ass all right guys it only took us five hours holy shit do not buy this shit don't buy it it's really not worth it it took us literally five I'm gonna, hours I'm gonna be hundred percent real with you guys we went some serious air of sound on this shit all right and what I showed you guys was a third of how it ended before we put that shit in here but as you guys can see it won't come out we literally got the clamp on there the clamp was suicide Absolutely. Like, okay, so put the camera on the So OEM, it's a screw. You know, that's common sense. These mother, you know, they want you to have a clamp with a it's, it's retard shit. Retarded. Right? It's retarded. It's <laughs> retarded. If you guys think BMW is already hard as it is, this made it 20 times harder. I'm just saying, I don't know how. We literally got lucky at one angle. Just like, I'm like, holy shit, drop it. Oh, we literally we freaked out. Okay. We, we now, were under the car for like literally two and a half hours. In the car. In the car. Under the car. Under, uh, under yeah, the car. under the car, two and a half. Like, probably inside the car, two hours. Chilling for another 30 minutes. We went to, like, two oh different stores. But, yo, feel, hear, hear this. Hear this. So, this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So, uh, well, this is actually wiggling without a shift knob. But, dude, I can already feel, like, so, so much fresh. better. It's way more notchy. I feel like it's as much. Not know? as bad. Oh, shit. You've never seen that? Damn. <laughs> never seen the M, M shift not bro. Yeah, have you ever even sat in this car? <laughs> I don't work on BMW, so. Have you? He's rethinking his entire life. Right said, was this even worth it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, the M shift knob. We have to say goodbye. <laughs> And this one has some uh, some tape on it because we hammered it in to try to get this stupid, uh, you know, actually, dude, what the heck? Huh. Dude, it doesn't shake as much, to be honest with you. Huh? You sh used to shake so much more. You used to feel like it's in neutral. Yeah. Guys, honestly, it's actually a lot better. Way better. Dude, I'm actually starting to think about it. Yeah, it's way better. What the heck? But yeah, we need an aluminum trim here, so I'm still gonna look out for that. A new shift knob because the M3 one doesn't fit on this aftermarket one unfortunately uh but yeah let's go out for a spin and then try to turn off traction and see how it goes oh no let's see if it so this is first right yeah second first second third fourth fifth okay reverse does it work yep okay, worked earlier works first first works okay perfect so let's go ahead turn off traction all right should we try it i mean on a donut are you gonna do a donut Yo! Yo! Oh, that was sick, dude! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god. god! Dude, this car that was sick. is a beast! Oh my god! Oh, oh I have to watch god. that back. I have to watch that back in the video. That was oh I hope god. they got to see. I did a full donut. I, I tried yeah, getting it. Going like, me, 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 me. To be honest, I was completely in shock, so I don't know if I got it correctly, but. Oh my god. Whenever you're ready. That was in reverse, bro. That was in reverse. I forgot it in reverse, yo. Oh my god. I think it's... I think it's enough of that. You're gonna burn the clutch even worse. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yo, John's sitting on my story, dude. <laughs> So we might be able to actually drift this car for you guys. If you guys were, if you guys want to see that, make sure to smash that like button. 
Uh, but yeah, without further ado, a fail of an install. I mean, it, it, it installed, but a fail of a product. But uh, you know, so my shit boot looks retarded. Um, anyways, guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. I did some, uh, I did some rather sketchy things for y'all, so I would really appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, uh, remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.